Uh-huh. One call says see all the time are taxes. That's exactly what I was going to say. So, That's really funny you said that. Yeah. Um, I have seen businesses fail or clients come to me yeah. because they didn't adequately yeah. take care of payroll taxes or right. sales taxes. Or right. they, they said, I've got a business, but right. I didn't think about that. Right. Uh, and then right. and then you get, you know, you get in trouble with the government and then you're out of business. So, right. Right. So that is a big cost. I can't say yeah. it's like, um, oh, it's, it's not one. hidden, but yeah, it's not hidden, but they don't think <laughs> about it. Yeah. But it's not a priority um, usually. And then the fact that yeah. when you start making money, you yeah. got to pay taxes, uh, right. income taxes and that right. you're now, especially for someone that used to be an employee yeah. and now they have their own business and now they're like, Oh yeah. wait, you mean I pay both sides of the payroll tax? Yeah. So it's I mean, true. tax is kind of like a, yeah. a big hidden cost. I see. It's very true. What else do you yeah, see yeah. out there? I, I think it's just not adequately gauging. Uh, a realistic picture of either cost of goods or, um, you know, labor expense or all that. I think there's an unrealistic um, sort of idea of what it really costs to do business. There's all these things that that people don't think about, Um, you know, like, you know, maintenance on a vehicle, right? That they're using in their, in their business. They don't think about, oh, I can afford that payment. But I didn't think about the fact that what happens when it needs brakes or it breaks Tax, down. Insurance. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or the insurance or all that kind of stuff. So, and like, I, I've seen a lot of companies specifically like in my market where they didn't really factor in things like waste, right? So they'll take the square footage that they're paying for a hide, right? It goes into a product and then they'll price their product based upon whatever they cut out of that shape, right? Well, that's not your actual cost. You know, you have to factor in, well, I paid X amount of dollars for the hide and I only used X amount. And so what happens with all this excess? And that that happens in in, in food, that happens in, yeah, it happens in a lot of different companies where they're not factoring in what they actually paid for, what what, an actual cost of the goods or the services or whatever. Um, And so at the end of the day, they think they're doing good until the end of the month. At the end of the month, they're like, I didn't make any money. And it's because they're not actually, you know, pricing their product right or their service or whatever it is. So I think that's a huge thing is really looking at things from a wide angle view. Sure. Um, so if you're not able to do that yourself, hiring an expert to do that really is good. That's one thing. This is another thing I just thought of is that uh, Forbes magazine, I used to read that a bunch when I did my marketing firm. And he would always kind of do these quotes like every once in a while in the back of the magazine. And every time he'd repeat himself every like, you know, five months and he'd say, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. And I think one of the keys that's important is know your strengths, know your weaknesses. Um, If you're not good at doing the money side of it, don't try and do it on your own. You're just going to cause yourself issues. Come to someone who's an expert who knows how to do it and have them handle that for you. So you can focus on what you're good at. If you're not good at whatever it is, whatever you're not good at, don't just muscle through it and try and be good at it and fail at it. Find someone who is good at that so you can focus on what you're good at and you're gonna, you're gonna be much more successful that way. No, I agree. I think a lot mm-hmm. of times in our culture we've gotten into this, you know, make, make your weakness, work on your weaknesses. Right. And as right. opposed to, okay, yeah. that's my weakness. Yeah. I, I'm, and I'm a business owner, I'm gonna hire yeah. my weakness. Right. And I'm gonna focus on my strength. Absolutely. And just keep doing yeah. those things that you're yeah. really good at. Yep, but so with my first company in the marketing, I got in a lot of, of tax debt, like you were saying. I got into a lot of, of just like marketing or financial type stuff because I'm horrible at that. Yeah. You know, I've got dyslexia, barely made out of high school. And so it's like, you know, money and, and numbers and all that just gets all jumbled up. And so, um, you know, I had to dig myself out of a big pit because of that. And so going into the, into the new company, I was like, I'm not dealing with any of this. Yeah. Like, and of course I had already figured that out halfway through the, the marketing company and gotten everything good to go. But, but that is a huge important part is know, know thyself and focus on what you're good at. I agree. So, yeah. That's great advice. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely.